Hey guys, my name's James, I've got EB, and this is my story. So EB is a skin condition that causes my skin to peel off with friction, leaving me blisters, wounds and scars all over my body. It also causes constant pain and means that I'm covered from my neck down in bandages. People don't know about EV because currently no cure or no treatment, so it's just all about management, pain management, wound management. I want to go out in the street and people say to me, have you got EV? I don't want people to say to me, what's wrong with you? I want people to know what I've got and I want people to know that it's a damn, damn painful condition. There's a lot of good things about my life, a hell of a lot of good things. I love travelling, I love photography, I love food, I love cooking, I love eating. Um, so I'd like to meet more chefs and um, yeah, eat some good food. Just enjoy life, I enjoy life more. I use photography as a positive distraction from the pain and from life with Evie. I asked for a camera for my 18th birthday and then not long after that, I got webbing in between my fingers and I, I couldn't use my hands. About two years ago, I applied for a television programme called The Big Life Fix. Then I got on the show and they've made me a big camera rig so now I can use my DSLR hands-free just with my iPad and my phone. I suppose on my bucket list now would be to take as pictures of many celebrities as possible <laughs> and add them to my portfolio. As I've got older, I've realised that I can't sit and wait for a cure because I've done that for 24 years and so far it ain't coming to me. I've got to go out and look for it. I just can't sit around anymore and watch time pass me by. It's running out. It most probably has run out for me. So I want every, every other person that's been born into this world now with EV to get to their 24th birthday and know that they've still got another 30, 40 years ahead of them. Not not like me and get to my 24th birthday and know that it might be one of my last. I'm too young to pass away of this condition and I don't want to. I, I want to beat EV, I want to fight EV. It, people always say there's all, each day you should learn one new thing. Make EV tomorrow that thing you learn about. Even if one person tells another person, tells another person, then that's their friends tell their friends, then everyone. It's a condition that people need to know about because there's a lot of sufferers out there and there's a lot of people that don't know about it right now, but need to. And it doesn't just affect me or other people with EV. It doesn't just affect the sufferer. It affects the whole family. I can't imagine what my mum or dad go through when they see me laying there with all my bandages off, with chronic wounds all over my body, screaming in pain. Imagine seeing your son or your daughter in pain like that. Just help me. Help me and help the others that are going to step in my footsteps. Help the people I'm going to leave behind with this condition. Help future generations. Without you, we can't do it. We need, we can't fight this condition on our own. We need people to help us. So that's where you come in. We need money and we need awareness to help us. Help us fight the condition and help us ultimately live a life free of pain and suffering.